Hi, this is Luke from Gorguts, and you're watching The Age of Metal. here with the age of metal i'm here right now at the beach gym in orlando florida with luke from gorget so how are you good yourself i'm doing great thank you so we uh this we are at the dust bowl magazine tour uh and this is the first date so do you have any expectations or anything it's everything's just great <laughs> <laughs> can't complain it's yeah. great packed People are pumped. I mean, uh, they're ready for the music. I mean, they were ready for the music. Oh yeah. They they know their metal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, it's just great. Everything's great. Awesome. Yeah. Nice people. Very friendly. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been uh, hanging around at the the merch booth uh, all evening, and it's uh, it's just great to meet with people. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You guys played really well Thank for you. this show. Thank you. And uh, do you want to talk about maybe the performance a little bit? Uh, yeah. I mean, it went. Uh, it, it went good uh, you know the, this uh, this music how can I say of course we haven't performed it uh, as much as the old material live so even if it's been recorded for the album and everything so live it's gonna find its it, its own uh, shape and, and uh, but uh, but it's great it's a lot of fun to play it's a different uh, different mood also for the cry uh, the, the, the the crowd because it's not the uh, the type of composition, like big, cir big uh, circle pit and everything, people are more standing and listening uh, because the music is more progressive and ambient now. So, uh, no, I like. Sometimes I even uh, was. Uh, saying to myself uh, is this music uh, uh, bo boring uh, boring out the crowd or is it, it's just a different uh, right it, it, yeah but uh, but I like this this uh, to 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 play that live because uh, we we played a, a more not straightforward but more very aggressive and busy uh, style for many many years so it's very uh, enjoyable to, to to play this type of composition live different tones a different ambience uh, still a lot of uh, fast part and, and a heavy part but uh, yeah it's uh, it's very it's a lot of fun to play nice. so, yeah and I do want to talk about um, you said that the newer style is more ambient mm -hmm. and more progressive is mm -hmm. there a reason why you took that direction uh, but first thing first I never wanted to do the same record twice and uh, also I discovered Opeth very very late and uh, while I was writing Colored Sand, at some point, now I started listening to Watershed. Oh, yes. And that's the first one I listened to. Then I went back in the, oh, yeah, in the discography. The ones, right. and, and, and then uh, found the Blackwater Park. Wow, amazing oh, yes. record. And one then of a friend favorites. of mine uh, made me listen to Dead Wing from uh, Porcupine Tree. Oh, yes. Whoa, and I, re I totally uh, fell in love with, uh, with this music. And then I connected the dots. Then uh, Ackerfeld, you know, worked with uh, Wilson. And uh, then, uh, not long after, uh, not long after, uh, the incident from Porcupine Tree came out, and that was a big influence on me. Okay. I saw them and them live uh, twice. So wow. that's when I decided to, oh, let's try this in my music. I have more, uh, more dynamics. We had that before, but on very short. Uh, um, uh, how can I say that? I'm sorry. Okay. On, on very short uh, um, time in the song, we, we, we wouldn't go in the quiet part for uh, for two minutes or so, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, so that brought a, a different. Uh, uh, it really uh, took my curiosity and uh, influenced me to write differently for this right. record. But also, I, I I didn't say to myself, okay, I'm gonna do a prog record or whatever. Right. When I sit down. Um, uh, rule number one is I always try to write the music that I really want to hear mm -hmm. and what would please me if I would put a record and what, I, what I'd like to hear so that's that's what guides me so by being by listening through those record while writing colored sand of course it it kind of interact with the right. with the writing and everything yes. so but uh, yeah nice. <laughs> And I uh, still feel that even with all the influences that you discuss, that it still sounds really heavy. Mm -hmm. um, is that just your own personal style, or were there other influences in the mix? But but of course, the the the, the Gorguts music vocabulary is is still right. present in the 
in the song. Mm -hmm. But structure-wise, being influenced by a more progressive sound, that brought something within the, the form of the, of the songs. And also having uh, two new string players like uh, uh, Colin and Kevin from Dysrhythmia, I mean. These are monsters of composers, <laughs> and they're just beasts playing. It's it's just so right. They, they they can write complex music, no problem. So and and they totally uh, understand well the, the 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 aesthetic of the band before they even joined. They they, they were fan of Obscura and uh, and, and those records. So they like uh, they wrote the Gorg uh, music in their own way, oh, and yes. it brought their fingerprint cool. in the sound. So that's that was a big part also of the the new uh, arrangements and because uh, the way we did I wrote all the mu uh, like uh, seven song out of nine I wrote all the music send them an mp3 with this with the tabs and I said dress it up I mean uh, I'm not, I'm, I didn't di dictate you're gonna do this you're gonna do that just put your fingerprint in the music and we barely change anything from their first draft it was oh, very nice. uh, spontaneous so awesome. yeah so Awesome. So do you uh, feel that Gorgas will continue going in this next direction or do you feel you'll change it up with each album or? We'll see. We'll see. But I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very happy writing, uh, writing music like this okay. with more, more dynamic. I want to push right. that more, more uh, quiet parts and, you know, to bring more, uh, yeah, different ambience. And uh, instead of being loud, 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 loud all the time, uh, right. it, I, I find it more uh, uh, unpredictable. To, to write music like this and uh, bring uh, maybe more sound design and uh, s s sound landscape, so to speak. That's how I see it, but more ambient for sure. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And what do you have planned for after this tour? Anything that you want to share with us? After this tour, we're going to go home for about a week. Then we fly to Portugal and do 10 shows with Misery Index. Oh, nice. Nice guy. Whoa. I love these guys. Good friend with Jason. Uh, he just finished a book, by the way, which is Ooh, fucking amazing. That is uh, cool. He's gonna release that in Montreal. There's a metal symposium Ooh. at uh, Concordia University. Anyway, long story short, so cool. we're gonna share the road with these guys, which I'm very psyched. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I really like them. I like their music. Um, I haven't listened much to their uh, before last record because they're gonna release one uh, okay. not too uh, not too right. long. But Traders, I really, uh, really, yeah. really enjoy. So that's cool. gonna be a lot of fun. So we do this, then come back home two weeks. MDF. And after MDF, uh, early June, we go to Europe again. We do a week on our own. And then after, we're going to join uh, Death to All in uh, Europe, play a couple oh, festivals, cool. and play Hellfest. And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Then after, home again. And uh, we're going to go back uh, in August for more Eastern Europe shows. Oh, nice. Yeah, and cool. then November might be Asia. Yeah, yeah you know, Japan and Australia. Okay. We work on this, so it's, right. not, it's not confirmed yet in the media but uh, that's uh, yeah so that's the plan so the year is pretty much is pr yeah. very busy very very, busy. Ha very happy awesome and for, uh, there's the last question do you have a message for the fans or anything love you <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right everybody thank you for watching that was luke from gorgas like luke said they're going to be doing a lot of cool touring this year so keep up off that and stay metal <laughs> kidding okay hi this is Hi, this is Luke from Gorguts, and you're listening to... No, you're watching yes. The Age of Metal, yes. is that right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Take two. Uh, take two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, this is Luke from Gorguts, and you're watching The Age of Metal.